In this short tutorial, I will show you how to use TextMod to create and run a simple outfit. First open TextMod. Make sure you are on the Package Mode tab. Click the big folder and select Browse. Now you must locate and select the application file for the game you wish to mod. I am using Tomb Raider Anniversary, but the process is the same for all Tomb Raider games. The file is in Program Files and then either under IDOS or a folder with the same name as the game. Once you have found and selected this file, you can ignore the rest of this tab. Switch to Logging Mode. First select the Output Format option and select the type of picture file you want the textures to be saved to your computer as. BMP is fine, but change it if you like. Next select the Log With option. This changes the button you must press in the game to grab the textures. Again, Enter is fine. Finally, check the Translucent box and then go to the Output folder and select Browse. This selects the folder you want the textures to be saved to on your computer. I have a folder in my documents called Textures. You can save them wherever you like, as long as you will remember it. Once you are happy, press OK. Now you are done with this tab and can click Run. This will run the game in logging mode, where you can select the textures you wish to edit. You will need to select all textures that you need to edit, but no more, otherwise our finished outfit file will be too big. Once in the game go to Extras, Outfits, and for now mouse over Anniversary. Now you can see the outfit, you need to press the minus and plus keys on your number pad to browse through all the textures on screen. When you see a part of Lara's outfit flash green, stop, go back, and find the exact texture. The part that is green on screen is represented by the texture showing in the top corner of the screen. Now you will need to press the key you selected as your log with button. We selected enter earlier. So press enter on your number pad. If you like, do this for all the textures on Lara's outfit, but if you are only testing, just find her shirt, as that is the easiest part to edit. Once you are happy that you have logged all the textures you want to edit, you can exit the game. Once you are back to your desktop, it is time to edit the textures you have saved. Open your favorite image editing software, I recommend paint.net, and that is what I will be using for this demonstration. Then locate and open the textures we have just saved from the game. They will be in the output folder you selected earlier. For now I will just do a quick recolor. You can be more adventurous and make whatever editing you want. I won't go into detail on how to edit the images, that's a different matter. Just watch closely if you want to recolor your outfit.
Once you are done editing, go to File and Save. Click OK. Now we are done we can minimize paint.net and go back to text mod. Select the final tab, package build. Click on the folder and select browse. You don't need to navigate anywhere, just click on the file you see here. Finally you need to input your name, so nobody else can claim the mod is theirs and a short description of the mod. When you're done, click on Build. Now select where you want to save the final outfit. I have a folder named Tomb Raider Outfits. I will save it there, but you can save it where you like. Be sure to name the file. It is best to name it after the outfit you have created. Once you're done click save. You should see the text success. This means the outfit was created and is now ready for use. Now you are done you can run your outfit. Make sure Tomb Raider is not running and go to package mode. Click the small folder and locate the file we just made. Make sure it is highlighted, and press Run. The game should now run with your mod active. If you are happy with it, you can share it with the world. If not, go back to the textures, edit them again, and repeat the package build stage. Saving over the old version. Do this as many times as you like, until you are happy with it.